Um, you know, the, the, it doesn't, the doctor doesn't think, he just has a sprain, so that's good, so it just depends on how long it'll be before he can, you know, support it and throw, but hopefully that's right. Our, our doctor is about as good a doctor as I think I've had, he's never been wrong on a field test, so I think that he'll be okay. For, for the Houston game, you think? Uh, not, I, I, that'll be iffy. But I mean, it's not torn, so so that means he'll be back. Looks like a good shot for a bowl game now. Well, we got to win. I mean, every game is like NFL playoff game. Now you got to win, and uh, you know, hopefully we can hold it together and do that. Talk about away from one and four. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, we knew we we overscheduled. We got a very difficult schedule to begin with, and. You know, we, uh, uh, the kids played play hard and hung together. And, uh, you know, to win with your backup quarterback in there, that says a lot about the team itself. When Garrett got hurt, what did you tell Neil as he got ready to go in for the first time? Well, I just told him he's been waiting a long time for this, so don't screw up the plays. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, what did you think of his performance? Uh, you know, he did some good things. I'm glad that he got that touchdown. I, he throws the ball very accurately deep. I was a little surprised he threw the one pick. Usually he throws that ball right on the money. Uh, but, you know, he's, a, he's just like a rookie quarterback, you know, getting in there now. And next week will be a big test for him. Did you see jitters from him when he went in? Um, not really. Uh, not really. He, uh, he just, he, he's got to learn how to prepare himself to play. Because, as I've told all these guys, they're one play away from being the guy. And you, whether you're a backup and you're bored, you're not getting reps. It doesn't matter. Everybody's expecting you to know what your what your job is, and, and uh, you know he made some plays, and so I'm happy to see that. Did you run the ball a little bit more in the second half to take them some pressure off of him? Yes, uh, they they well I, basically they have a very very good uh, front four, and uh, in fact I thought it was the best front four going into the game. I told the coach that that we played next to TCU, and uh, I knew we were going to struggle blocking them. So my answer to that was to try to run a little bit to slow them up. Were you terribly disappointed the shutout went by the boards? Well, I'm disappointed for the defense, but it's still a defensive shutout. Uh, I told the guys at halftime if if we didn't let them score on defense, we'll we'll uh, win the game, and uh, that that happened. How much did it change what you and Coach Mummy were able to call? Not only having an inexperienced quarterback, but having Garrett's running ability taken out of your offense. <clears throat> well. Um, Neil can actually run, but I, I'm, they're a big physical fast team, and I didn't, I didn't want him to carry the football and have him knock it out. Uh, but Neil has some good running skills too. He's not as good as, as Garrett, but I just didn't want that to, to change the game. You've talked in the past about how hard it is to go on the road and get wins. If someone had told you that Garrett Gilbert was going to get hurt in the second quarter of a road game, what would you have said the odds are coming out well, with the win? Well, you find out about yourself. You know, you find out about yourself uh, when you uh, overcome adversity. Some people, you know, it breaks. Other people, you, you kind of just find your destiny, and that's kind of what what happened with this team. I think they know they want to be in a bowl game. And their destiny is to do that. You kind of see the team come, you know, play hard, and it's a team game. You know, everybody has to do their job.